Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to find probabilities from a probability distribution table. Here's our problem statement. The accompanying table describes the random variable x, the numbers of adults in groups of five who reported sleepwalking. Complete parts A through D below. Okay, part A asks us to find the probability of getting exactly four sleepwalkers among five adults. To do that, we need to get our probability distribution table, and we get that by clicking on this icon right here. So here's my probability distribution table. So we want exactly four sleepwalkers. So we just go down here, read the four, the number next to it, that's our probability. Fantastic! Now we want the probability of getting four or more sleepwalkers among five adults. We'll do that. I have to just take the four and then add every other row that's in addition to the four. So there's one more addition, no row, so I'm going to have to take the number that I get with the four sleepwalkers and add it to every other number that follows after. There's the probability of four or more. Whoops. Forgot my decimal point. Details matter. Nice work. All right. Now part C asks, which probability is relevant for determining whether four is a significantly high number of sleepwalkers among five adults, the result from part A or the result from part B? <clears throat> well, the result from part A includes just the four, but the result from part B includes four or more. So because there's more included with the part B, that's the one we're going to have to select as being the more relevant. And I look over my answer options to see which one matches that. It's going to be this one. Excellent! And now part D says, is four a significantly high number of four sleepwalkers among five adults? Why or why not? Use 5% as a threshold for a significant event. Okay, so 5% is my threshold. And in this case, that means if the per the pr probability that I'm looking at is less than 5%, then it's going to be significantly high or low. So the probabilities that we're looking at here are less than 5%. Therefore, 4 is going to be a significantly high number. So I don't want to look at answer option A or D. I'm looking at answers options B and C. And the probability is less than 5%. Excellent! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below and let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.